Hi, welcome to our 15th lecture, our lecture on dimensional analysis. This lecture is for Carrie. So here we have a conversion table, also known as equivalent statements. Basically what that does is it converts gallons to quarts, liters to quarts, miles to yards, quarts to pints, and so forth. For dimensional analysis, if we want to convert uh, yards per minute to feet per minute, the way we set this up is we go yards per minute times feet per yards equal feet per minute. Notice yards in purple cancel out. And so then what we're left with is feet per minute. So an example would be 10 yards per minute equals how many feet per minute? So we set it up 10 yards per minute times three feet per minute equals 30 feet per minute. The yards cancel out. Three times 10 is 30. Pretty simple. So if you had to convert 90 miles per hour to feet per second, this problem's a little more complex. Your first step is to convert how many feet are in a mile. So we look at the conversion chart and we know there's 1.61 kilometers per mile, and we know there's 1,000 meters per kilometer, there's 1.094 yards per meter, and there's three feet per yard. We set up the problem so kilometers cancel out in purple, meters cancel out in green, and yards cancel out in blue. And what we're left with is 1.61 times 1,000 times 1.094 times 3 equals 5,284 5 feet per mile. That's the first step. So now we know how many feet there are in a mile. The second step is how many seconds are there in an hour? This is a little bit easier because we know there's 60 minutes per hour and there's 60 seconds per minute. So we set this up so the minutes cancel out and we go 60 times 60 equals 3,600 seconds per hour. Now we're ready to set up our problem now that we know how many feet are in a mile and how many seconds are in an hour. So to convert 90 miles per hour to feet per second, we go 90 miles per hour times 5,280 feet per mile times one hour per 3,600 seconds. So 90 times 5,280 5, divided by 3,600 equals 132 feet per second. Notice miles in orange cancel out hours in purple cancel out, and what we're left with is feet per second. And so a problem. If a woman has a mass of 115 pounds, what is her mass in grams? Now I'm going to tell you from the conversion chart, one pound equals 453.6 grams. So 115 pounds times 453.6 grams per pound equals 5.22 times 10 to the fourth grams. Pounds cancel out, it's just a simple math problem, 115 times 453.6. A little bit more complicated problem, what is the average speed of a nitrogen molecule in air at 25 degrees Celsius is 515 meters per second. Now we wanna convert that to miles per hour. We know that one mile equals 1.6093 kilometers from the conversion chart. The 25 degrees Celsius, don't let that freak you out. That just tells you at that temperature, the speed is 515 meters per second. What you'll learn later in chemistry is molecules tend to speed up at higher temperatures. So perhaps at 100 degrees, that might be 517 meters per second, as an example. So we take 515 meters per second times one kilometer per meter cubed times one meter, or one mile, sorry, per 1.6093 kilometers, times 3,600 seconds per hour. Notice kilometers in purple cancel out, meters in green cancel out, and seconds in blue cancel out. So what we're left with in red is miles per hour. So 515 divided by 1,000 divided by 1.6093 times 3600 equals 1.15 times 10 to the third miles per hour. So here we have the equivalent statements and a formula chart. We know that density equals mass divided by volume, therefore mass equals density times volume, and volume equals mass divided by density. So if we were to ask what is the mass in grams of one gallon of water, knowing the density of water is one gram per mil, 
at room temp or 25 degrees Celsius, how do we go about solving this problem? Well, the first step is we convert gallons to quarts. We do this by knowing there's four quarts per gallon. So one gallon times four quarts per gallon equals four quarts. Notice gallons crosses off in purple. The next step is we times it by one liter per 1.06 quarts. This cancels off our quarts and we're left with how many liters? So one times four divided by 1.06 is how many liters are in a gallon. We times that by milliliters. So a thousand milliliters per liter. So this tells us how many milliliters are in a gallon. Be Gallons cancel out in purple, quarts cancel out in green, liters cancel out in blue. So one times four divided by 1.06 times 1,000 is milliliters per gallon. And then we times that by the density. We know that it's one gram per milliliter. Now the milliliters cancel out in orange, and what we're left with is 3.77 times 10 to the third grams. Gallons cancel out, quarts cancel out, liters cancel out, milliliters cancel out, and what we're left with is grams per liter. or grams, not per liter. I'm sorry. What is the mass in grams of one gallon of water? So that's how many grams are in one gallon of water. Stand corrected.